Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, official optimist of The Rachel Maddow Show. Uh, thank, you, thank you for joining us on what is a hard day to be the perpetual optimist. It is really true, uh, but I'm not giving up the role. Um, but you know, I always tell you the truth. And I think the truth needed to be told here, Rachel, which was that Senator Manchin did make a commitment to the president on the framework that the president um, you know, unveiled to us the day before he went to COP. And that framework, Rachel, would never have happened had the Progressive Caucus in the House not stood up and refused to pass the infrastructure bill until we got that framework and then until we got the legislative text. But I do believe that um, Senator Manchin has has said many things. And look, he's a nice man. I have had good conversations with him. Uh, but I had to be clear that your word is everything around here. You can't enter into negotiations if you are not going to be an honest negotiator. And if you are not going to keep your word to the president of the United States, the president told me that Senator Manchin committed to that framework. And if there were things that weren't matching that framework, then you wouldn't go on Fox News the Sunday before Christmas and make a case that the Build Back Better Act is done and that it's reshaping the country in, uh, in a way that is untruthful, frankly, uh, but is reshaping the country in a way that's not beneficial for the American people. Rachel, we are in the midst of COVID. I think you're sitting in New York somewhere um, where, where Omicron is hitting hard. And the Build Back Better Act is about making sure we have elder care so that when people are suffering from COVID, they can be taken care of at home. It is about making sure we reduce the premiums for people um, to be able to get health care coverage in a country where I agree with Senator Sanders. We are the writers of the Medicare for All bill. We should have a different system. But at least we should bring down the costs of being able to get health care for people. The Build Back Better Act is about making sure we pay $35 for insulin instead of hundreds and hundreds of dollars or driving across the Canadian border. It is about making sure that we give people the ability to have childcare in, in a time when we've had a she session. Women have been pushed out of the economy and they're waiting. So these are real people. And the child tax credit, which is now not gonna go out in January or February or probably March, is means that millions of Americans are now gonna be pushed back into poverty at a time when the virus is back on the surge. So yes, it is a tremendous frustration because we all thought we were negotiating in good faith. And the optimist in chief of the Rachel Maddow show says that the things that we are working on are hard. They are. If they were done, if they were easy, they would be done. They're not. They're hard and we can't give up and we won't give up. And that's why we will pursue a two track strategy now to both push for the Build Back Better legislation to pass the Senate and we are also calling on the president to take some significant executive actions that will make people's lives better today and that will also put pressure on continuing to get legislation through instead of doing it through executive action. So we'll have a two-track process here. We're not giving up, but it's a hard day. I'll be honest.